Alright, what I'd like to do is show you guys how to find three consecutive numbers with the sum of 63. When looking at uh, consecutive numbers, the one thing I we think of is numbers that are right next to each other, consecutive. And if we're talking about odd numbers, then we're obviously going to be skipping the even numbers. So just an example of three consecutive odd numbers would be 5, 7, and 9. However, it says we want the sum, and we know sum by our signal words is going to be to add them. And we also know that that is obviously not going to give us 63. The sum of those three consecutive numbers gives us 21. So we have a little problem. So to find out how to find the consecutive numbers for 63, first of all, we don't know where to start. And what we, so if we don't know where to start, we don't know what the first number is, we're always going to give that a variable, which we leave label x. Now the next thing is I need to say, all right, well, between my next number, how much, what is going to be my next consecutive number? Well, consecutive odd number, I'm sorry. So if I say a random odd number is x, the next one is going to be, well, not 6, because 6 is even, it'd be 7. So it's actually, you're going to have to go 5 plus 2 to get to my next odd number. Does that make sense? So I'm actually plusing 2 to get to my next number. So to represent that algebraically, I'm going to say x plus 2 would be my next number. And then the next number, I'm going to have to plus 2 again. So to get from 5 to 9, I actually have to now plus 4. So I'd have x plus 4. And let's just double check to make sure this is, sounds correctly. So let's say x equals 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. 5 plus 4 is 9. So this is the correct formula for um, three consecutive odd integers. And we're talking about the sum. So therefore, I'm going to write x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 equals 63. Now, I have three x's on the same side. Since they're on the same side, I can combine them. So I get that 3x, and now I have my two numbers on the same side. I can combine them equals 6 equals 63. Now what we have is our lovely two-step equation. And everybody should be able to do two-step equations if you've watched my previous videos in, in your sleep. You always look at your variable, you circle your variable, and you say, first I'm going to undo addition and subtraction by using inverse operation. Since it's being added to my variable, I'm now going to subtract 6 on both sides by using the subtraction property of equality. Then I have 3x equals 15. <laughs> 57. Now I have my variable is multiplied by x by 3, so I need to divide by 3. Therefore, now I get x equals 19. So my three consecutive numbers is 19. The next one would be 19 plus 2, which is 21. And then 19 plus 4 is 23. So that's how you find three consecutive numbers with a sum of 63.